Did I ever tell you how I got the nickname, the Dragon of the West? I'm not interested in a lengthy anecdote, Uncle. It's more of a demonstration, really. Every hundred years can a firebender experience this kind of power. That spirit, I'll unleash on you tenfold. Let it go now. Redirect lightning? If you let the energy in your own body flow, the lightning will follow it. You must create a pathway from your fingertips, up your arm to your shoulder, then down into your stomach. The stomach is the source of energy in your body. It is called the Sea of Chi. Only in my case, it is more like a vast ocean. <laughs> from the stomach, you direct it up again and out the other arm. The stomach detour is critical. You must not let the lightning pass through your heart, where the damage could be deadly. Now, are you focusing your energy? Can you feel your own chi flowing in, down, up, and out? I think so. Come on, you've got to feel the flow. Excellent. You've got it. Great. I'm ready to try with real lightning. What? Are you crazy? Lightning is very dangerous. I thought that was the point. You teaching me how to protect myself from it. No, but I'm not going to shoot lightning at you. That's it? Your father raised a coward. Next time you get in my way, I promise. I won't hold back. No, Prince Zuko. Do not taint your victory. So this is how the great commander Zhao acts in defeat? Disgraceful. Even in exile, my nephew is more honorable than you. Thanks again for the tea. It was delicious. Did you really mean that, Uncle? Of course. I told you Jing Sang Tea is my favorite. Fire is the element of power. The people of the Fire Nation have desire and will, and the energy and drive to achieve what they want. Earth is the element of substance. The people of the Earth Kingdom are diverse and strong. They are persistent and enduring. Air is the element of freedom. The air nomads detached themselves from worldly concerns and found peace and freedom. Also, they apparently had pretty good senses of humor. Water is the element of change. The people of the water tribe are capable of adapting to many things. They have a deep sense of community and love that holds them together through anything. Why are you telling me these things? It is important to draw wisdom from many different places. If we take it from only one place, it becomes rigid and stale. 
Understanding others, the other elements, and the other nations will help you become whole. All this four elements talk is sounding like Avatar stuff. It is the combination of the four elements in one person that makes the Avatar so powerful. But it can make you more powerful too. I know we've had some difficult times lately. We've had to struggle just to get by. But it's nothing to be ashamed of. There is a simple honor in poverty. There's no honor for me without the Avatar. Zuko. Even if you did capture the Avatar, I'm not so sure it would solve our problems. Not now. And there is no hope at all. No, Zuko. You must never give in to despair. Allow yourself to slip down that road and you surrender to your lowest instincts. In the darkest times, hope is something you give yourself. That is the meaning of inner strength. I know what you're thinking. I look like I can't handle being by myself. I wasn't thinking that. You wouldn't even let me pour my own cup of tea. I poured your tea because I wanted to, and for no other reason. People see me and think I'm weak. They want to take care of me, but I can take care of myself by myself. You sound like my nephew, always thinking you need to do things on your own without anyone's support. There is nothing wrong with letting people who love you help you. Not that I love you, I just met you. <laughs> so, where is your nephew? I've been tracking him, actually. Is he lost? Yes, a little bit. His life has recently changed, and he's going through very difficult times. He's trying to figure out who he is, and he went away. So, now you're following him. I know he doesn't want me around right now. But if he needs me, I'll be there. Your nephew is very lucky, even if he doesn't know it. Thank you. My pleasure. Sharing tea with a fascinating stranger is one of life's true delights. No, thank you for what you said. It helped me. I'm glad. Oh, and about your nephew? Maybe you should tell him that you need him, too. Uncle? So, the blue spirit. I wonder who could be behind that mask. <sighs> what are you doing here? I was just about to ask you the same thing. What do you plan to do now that you've found the Avatar's bison? Keep it locked in our new apartment? Should I go put on a pot of tea for him? First I have to get it out of here. And then what? You never think these things through. This is exactly what happened when you captured the Avatar at the North Pole. You had him, and then you had nowhere to go! I would have figured something out! No! If his friends hadn't found you, you would have frozen to death! <sighs> I know my own destiny, Uncle. Is it your own destiny? Or is it a destiny someone else has tried to force on you? Stop it, Uncle! I have to do this! I'm begging you, Prince Zuko! It's time for you to look inward and begin asking yourself the big questions. Who are you? And what do you want? Why can't I do it? Instead of lightning, it keeps exploding in my face. Like everything always does. I was afraid this might happen. You will not be able to master lightning until you have dealt with the turmoil inside you. What turmoil? Zuko, you must let go of your feelings of shame if you want your anger to go away. But I don't feel any shame at all. I'm as proud as ever. Prince Zuko, pride is not the opposite of shame, but its source. True humility is the only antidote to shame. Well, my life has been nothing but humbling lately. So, Top thinks you give pretty good advice. And great tea. The key to both is proper aging. What's on your mind? 
Well, I met with this guru who was supposed to help me master the Avatar state and control this great power. But to do it, I had to let go of someone I love. And I just couldn't. Perfection and power are overrated. I think you are very wise to choose happiness and love. What happens if we can't save everyone and beat Azula? Without the Avatar state, what if I'm not powerful enough? I don't know the answer. Sometimes life is like this dark tunnel. You can't always see the light at the end of the tunnel. But if you just keep moving... You will come to a better place. You used to be the pride of the Fire Nation. Our top general, the Dragon of the West. Now look at you. Look what you've become. Cell, old man. Well, too bad. You're never stepping outside these walls again. Breakfast. Careful, me. Don't get too close. His stench will knock you right out. <laughs> I snuck in some white jade tea. I know you like rare teas. Thank you, Ming. Ever since I was put in here, you have been very kind to me. I think you should take the rest of the day off. What? You don't look well. Maybe you should go home and rest. No, I feel fine. Trust me, it is better that you are not here this afternoon. Uncle! Where's my uncle? He's gone. He busted himself out. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. He was like a one-man army. Why, uncle? You are not the man you used to be, Zuko. You are stronger and wiser and freer than you have ever been. And now you have come to the crossroads of your destiny. It's time for you to choose. It's time for you to choose good. I expected this kind of treachery from Uncle, but Zuko, Prince Zuko, you're a lot of things, but you're not a traitor, are you? Release him immediately! It's not too late for you, Zuko. You can still redeem yourself. The kind of redemption she offers is not for you. Why don't you let him decide, Uncle? I need you, Zuko. I've plotted every move of this day, this glorious day in Fire Nation history. And the only way we win is together. At the end of this day, you will have your honor back. You will have father's love. You will have everything you want. Zuko, I am begging you. Look into your heart and see what it is that you truly want. You are free to choose. I know you must have mixed feelings about seeing me. But I want you to know, I am so, so sorry, Uncle. I am so sorry and ashamed of what I did. I don't know how I can ever make it up to you, but I... How can you forgive me so easily? I thought you would be furious with me. I was never angry with you. I was sad because I was afraid you lost your way. I did lose my way. But you found it again. And you did it by yourself. And I am so happy you found your way here. It wasn't that hard, Uncle. 
You have a pretty strong scent. Happy birthday, my son. If only I could have helped you. Leaves from the vine Falling so slow Like fragile tiny shells Drifting in the foam Little soldier boy Come marching home Brave soldier boy Comes marching home